Well, I've got choice chainsaw on the block. I thought we'll do this live, or not live, but I'm going to record it for 10 minutes if it takes that long. See what we're dealing with. And um, as if you're in the shed with me, mucking around. But um, during lockdown, we can't do that, can we? We've lost all the rights in Australia. So, if I can determine how to fix this cheaply, before it, then show you what you can get out of a ported saw. Now, this particular saw, we'll go for it. I won't start it, I'll check the thing as we go. Make sure I don't wreck nothing. So, first thing we'll do is I'll pull the muffler off. Have a look up the muffler. See what it's like. Now, if you're going to start porting, get yourself a uh, magnet tray like that. It's just a lot better for keeping your parts together. Then get a box or a bag, zip bag, put it together. Take a video. I have to do it now because I had a stroke and it's sort of my memory's a bit fractured. Anything I can do is play around with stupid chainsaws, but I enjoy doing that. My wife calls them stupid. Alright. I'm not sure what the size is in this one. I think it's a 5mm. Yeah. It's good to have all your tools in one spot, but. I'm constantly playing with saws, constantly putting things back away. Oh, I think it's five. Yeah, five mil. I sent away to China for these a hundred and I think a hundred mil, hundred mil, hundred and fifty mil long. That was loose. They normally come loose. Yeah. I'll put a bit of lock tight in that. Just a dribble. So remember how things come out? So that was in that way. Look for witness marks. See, the witness mark, you see that was from the back of the motor. So you can see that was there, so dirt builds up. You can sort of, after a while, you could be months away, you go, how did they go together? Look at your witness marks. I've always been amazed with Husqvarna. Such a small, tiny little hole. That's the exhaust, there for the bolts. Comes out there. When you look at the... Actual, I'll show you. That's the exhaust hole there. So look how small that is. Now, bigger doesn't always mean better, but... I do believe that's too small for this saw. Alright. Watch. Well. Well, it's a brand new piston. Looks like. Seen little, very little work. Don't think. Then there are a few guys gone because I can't see this side of the camera. So that's pretty good. Fly around. Right, so that that's what looks all right. All right, we'll put the muffler back on. Um, we'll get a pull start off another saw. It's always good to have good lights. That's cost 20 bucks for this and a head one. But certain things are cheap as. Uh, Alright, put that back on. This will be fun. There's a gasket just here. Luckily, this gasket's still stuck on it. Put these two in.
Now, I won't be trying to be as smart, but normally what you do is you push your bolts through, pull them like that, put your aluminium deflector on here, that's to keep the heat in the right spot so the fan can blow across here and keep the motor cool. So you gotta put that back in. Now, if I had time off camera, I'd just put it on, but I don't think I could. So I'll take that cover off, We'll do it the proper way, so we don't cross thread crap. Uh, Filter the screwdriver. It's gotta come off anyway. Now I bought one of these for 200 bucks, but I bought it in summertime. We're at the very end of winter right now. It's a nice day though, it's not cold. It has been a bit cold, but we don't get snow here, but we get some very bad frost sometimes. We had a bad frost for a few years, but this year's probably second cold one in about 10 years. Some saws you pull the body handle off to just work on so oh, it drives me nuts on them. Dogs yeah. Makes it worse than my wife's dogs. Right, there's only three bolts to hold this on. Sometimes doing that saves a lot of muck around later on, so you might as well do it the right way. No point rushing. Five mil. There's a five mil. I need to clean up this. I was excited. I was excited, guys. Well, put this back on. Just try and get one bolt nipped up a little bit. It's about that heat guard falling off. Try and put it on straight, you don't have to cross for it. That's going nice. I contacted the owner and said thanks for the change. He said he's got another chainsaw or so. He said the other day it was a Huss bar, but I'm curious to see what's because I went through the chains. It was free for the 24 inch and um, free for, I'd say, I don't know, maybe 8 inch. Something like that. Uh, right, we've got these ones here. Might have one that long one's got a bottom. When it comes to doing mechanics, always get the screws all sort of started. But sometimes you do one up, you can't get the rest in, especially if you're starting out in this. Because once you start doing this, you can't stop yourself. I'm telling you, it's like gold for you, chainsaw for you. Good place to get tools at Super Cheap Auto. They're selling quite a few stuff now, quite cheap. If you don't want to go through eBay and wait, get it from China. And that's how much longer we're getting stuff from China. 
should nip these up. I'll do them up by hand though. On one. Washes on your surprise of the day. Got to bully him up a little bit, but not too much. Because you strip them, you can't fix them. A lot of these cheap stuff, the screws strip are full. The screws strip where the Allen key goes in. It's funny enough, but they're not made very well. Right, so they're in. So that's that part's right. We'll put the dog back on. So you pull that off, thank goodness, for posting. Go and send away for some new ones. So I can um, and then identify my saw over my son's saw, so I'll probably get the bigger ones. They've both got twin dogs. One's a new chainsaw, there's a new one there, and there's a second hand one up there. If you want to source up to power, they're worth getting if you've got any knowledge about motors and stuff. Sometimes you have to fix them. A little bit hard. I will show you some tricks. Then just cutting wood, not just cutting wood is actually fun. The one I bought brand new, the decompression valve there didn't work. You push it in and pop it straight back out. The, the click didn't work. The um, people who sold me the saw end up selling me, um, sending me another one, but. I don't think they believed me at first. Right, so that's right there. Right, so let's get... I'll get my son, my second hand one there. Pull some parts up here. So I'm done the big best one. Want a full star? Funny enough, I'm probably going to use the 5 mil again because I think it's just a little bit maybe the block, I'm not sure what it is. Right, there's the pull star. So, as you can see, that's the plastic part is missing. So let's see. There's yeah, springs underneath that. We're going to send it away for another one, but um, I'll keep that because the one we're going to get is blue. So I'll pull the pull side apart out in the um, spring and reuse this, hopefully. So it's the right color and stuff. Alright, so there's that one. Um, I'll leave the screws there because I think... Two screws, you got these two front ones. 
I'll put these ones back. So I don't lose them. Like the finger stone because I'm going to cross for the bike. Right. Put that back up. Yeah, I need a little washer. Okay. Yeah. So that and wash it. Alright. We got one part here. Push the earth wire back in. Put this out separate. Oh. I can't get to the handle. The handle's different. Wonder why those. Maybe the handle's bent. Oh. Well, we'll fit that anyway. Now the way these work, you put it down gently, and these are on an angle. See the angle? As you put it down gently, give it a quick couple of little pulls, just gently. It should have fallen into place. Like that. This doesn't have water. Funny enough. Some beat it through it. I still put it in my hand. That doesn't feel like it's lying up quite well. Right. Cheap plastics. That feels like it's going in there. Yeah, it's going in. Constantly dropping crap. They're all suddenly going. Oh, 
he played head on there. Right, we'll keep them separate. I'm gonna lose them, so I'll put them up there. Yeah, he's different. Some, some's not working right. Why well, discovered why he broke his back off? Something's not lining up right. This is what you say to your wife, you have the shit drinking beer. Frustrations. Yep, something's definitely not right with the undercover. They seem to be alright. So what is going on? Oh, now it wants to work. See, even muck, someone who mucks around with these quite a bit. This is what I don't like doing. Looks like I might as well pull the handlebar off. I'm going to be able to lose the bottom off and we're going to move everything down the road quickly. I'm going to be pretty loose anyway. Alright, too much pie won't get me. Yeah, he's smart. There you go, straight. There you go. So now it's working properly. So I'll tighten it up so it's little don't be frightened to pull more apart if you have to. Sometimes it works out so much better in the end. Alright, put them back in. These we've got to be very careful because it's going into plastic and plastic is not our friend. Got certain ones, I don't strip nothing. That's firm, not hard. Right, that should be enough to start it. I'll um, 
I've got the only, I'll blow that out, I'll put some fresh fuel on it. Now the spark plug, this could be one of the reasons why his spark plug is not working, or maybe why he didn't start. We had trouble starting, I should say. Chinese made spark plug. In the spin, it doesn't fit very well. See if I find a uh, NK or NKG, I think it's called. See, so this is an L crap one. Oh, I'll find a spark plug. Most of these saws, don't know if you can see that, most of these saws will take a NGK BPMR7A, it's the right heat range for Australia. I've done some work in lawnmower shops, so I had to um, get service saws and stuff and occasionally I took stuff home from out of the bin. But I don't do not trust because we had to pull these out all the time. Like crap, they work maybe all right for about six months, and then it's hit and miss. You just can't trust them. Snug that up. So now I know the mode's good. Um, pull that works now. Heat the compression. So I'll blow the air filter out, put some fuel in it and some oil because I want to test test the oil here at the same time. You want to do all these things so before you port them so you know, okay, it's a running saw, you know it's healthy, so you don't want to pull a saw apart and go, there's no spark like the Solo 644 I did. I always use that saw, go to saw, port it, now I'll start. Alright, thanks for watching.